It's always Matt's intention to help others. As soon as he was able to start the Matt Hampson Foundation, he was like a bullet from a gun. My foundation not just about giving somebody some money and saying, there you go, you'll be okay. It's giving the money, but also following it up with a phone call and, or an email or a text and just helping each other out. And I feel that the people that we're helping can help me as, out as much as I help them out as well. And it's, it's this support network that we're trying to create, uh, which is so important. Most of the people that Matt goes to see are not as badly injured as him and that is an inspiration to the people that they see. We want to be proactive rather than reactive. We definitely want to go out and see people, actively seek people that we can help. We react to situations very quickly. What Matt found whilst he was in hospital, that the last thing that anybody in his situation wants is to fill in reams of paperwork. What people need is immediate help. It's also the the inspiration, not just with my story, but other people's stories. We've helped Ben Lear, a Samoan rugby player. Similar accident to Matt, although he's not on a vent. Samoa's different to the UK. They don't have a carer system, so his parents are the carers. Therefore, his parents can't work. Therefore, his help is more financial. Matt received a, an email from a physio who had worked with Matt in Stoke Mandeville. She's now a volunteer in a hospital in Cape Town and she was treating this lad called Herb, who was actually a Rwandan refugee. Herb had been run down to playing football in the street, same level injury as Matt. I got in touch with uh, Gail Ross and Mornay and they run the Petro Burger charity. They'd actually been to see Herb in hospital and Matt just said, whatever they do, we'll double it in South Africa. If you're not in the system or if you can't afford it, they tend to take you off the vent. We've managed to save the guy's life. So we're helping a young guy and Kevin, this young lad, going to university, PhD, in spinal injuries, life after spinal injuries. We know that Kevin will help us when he, when he gets his PhD. I don't think he would actually get that help from any other charity. We're helping a young lady called Claire Lomas. She's, she's paralysed basically from the waist down. In fact, she, she is an incredible young lady. She's just had a baby, fantastic. Um, she's going to do the London Marathon. Uh, what she needs is robotic legs, which uh, cost a lot of money. And the foundation, the Matt Hampson Foundation, is helping her to achieve that goal. She's doing it for Spinal Research, which is another charity that, uh, that we're very dear to. Henry Fraser was um, a guy who was the first beneficiary of uh, the foundation. Uh, he played for Saracens Academy and he had his accident on holiday in Portugal diving into the sea. Um, he's paralysed from the neck down and um, he's got movement in his arms but uh, and he's not on a ventilator but he... Uh, it's pretty, it's been pretty tough for him, he's been through a lot, and he's a very young lad as well. Henry is now a mentor with Matt, goes to visit people in hospital and wants to help, uh, wants to help the foundation. Now, that's something that Matt really wants to happen, is that he wants the people that he helps to carry on and help others through the foundation. He's become a, a sort of a figurehead for the foundation and someone who's going to go out and see people and inspire people and, and try and help me out with my quest to, to put a positive spin on disability. I think a lot of people in chairs could go out and, and make a better impression on a disability. Just force yourself to go out and show people, yeah, I'm in a wheelchair, but I'm living a life, even though, um, even though I've been dealt this bad blow, I can still move on with my life. And I think that's so important. Uh, it works both ways. Just try not to look at them any differently. You know, they are, they are in wheelchairs, but um, they had a previous life and they still live a life now as well. And, and not feel pity, but feel almost admiration for those, those people. That's been the beauty of, of Matt Hampson since his accident, is that he's got a very loving family who've been so supportive mum, dad, sister, brother, 
but all his mates treat him just the same as they did before. I want to be treated as the same old Matt and I'm still, you know, the brunt of a lot of people's jokes. I always say I'm a more roundy person, yeah, like in, <laughs> in more ways than one. Now, I try and think about other people a lot more.